Hi, I'm Rob Nicholas from Sand Sherpa. We set this enterprise up here at Sherpa Camp back in October last year, and we've welcomed over 500 families during the season. Unfortunately, now we're getting to the tail end of it. It's getting a little bit warm, so we've got our last camp of the season next week, but I'll just take you for a little walk around our site so you can see what we've got going on. So each one of these trailers has served 15 years in the army, and we got them straight out, um, straight out here into the UAE. Actually, there was an arms embargo against this region, um, so I had to get special permission from the, a member of parliament to sign them off. It took me six months of perseverance to get these units here, but damn, they're strong. I mean, they're brilliant for working in the in the desert. They're great for working in the mountains, and we're not in the mountains just yet, but maybe we'll be in the future. And then just on the top of these uh, these trailers. We've got some South African built canopies. These are based on uh, Land Cruiser setups for safaris in Africa. Um, we got in touch with the owners of Ali Cab in South Africa and they agreed to build these specially for us. Again, we were a little bit set back because there was a six month delay because of COVID, but eventually they got here and you know, they're awesome bits of kit. Uh, just inside um, where you can see inside this canopy, we've got tea, coffee, sugar, milk powder. We've got some cutlery just in these pouches. Uh, we've got plates and we've got bowls in here. So pretty much everything you need is in the side, uh, in the side of the trailer. And then on top, you've got an absolutely awesome penthouse suite. So you've got a great vista of the desert. You're away from any creepy crawlies. People climb up the ladder right here, put their shoes, socks, flip-flops, whatever inside these pouches. It's away from the elements. It's away from any danger. And you've just got a fantastic view. Um, this time of year, we can take the flies off the tents. Uh, so at the moment we've got great ventilation and we've got a moon roof at the top and at night you're going to see lots and lots of stars through the moon roof of your tent. Uh, we've also got some lighting here just on the underside and we've also got dimmable light switches actually inside the tents. In fact we were so impressed with these units that we ordered for Sherpa camp that actually we got some extras and we're now actually stocking these and we're retailing them here in the UAE. We're the only ones to do it and actually these units have been modified especially for our desert environment so they're pretty damn cool. Um, just in the back, uh, we've got a fridge. Again, these are from South Africa. We've got different types of fridges according to our original trailers and also some newly modified ones that I'm going to show you a bit later. Um, but you've got two sides here, so you can have a fridge and you can have a freezer or vice versa, or you can make them both a fridge. Um, so this is really you know, roomy so people can keep their stuff cool. Um, we keep our, our campers uh, ready, ready for arrival with some water that's already inside these fridges, already chilled. And then actually at the front of the trailer, We've got a jerry can with 20 liters of water that they can keep replenishing that and then putting it into their fridge. This is actually filtered water that we've got at uh, headquarters in Dubai. We aim to have no plastics here. So again, it's an environmentally friendly way of having water um, and obviously to make sure that our guests are properly hydrated. Um, just in the side here, we've got a shower cube. Um, this is also a privacy tent, so you can actually open this up and you can use this as a changing room or you can use this as a shower and I'll show you the showers in just a second. So you pop this open and you've got your own kind of privacy tent. Well, it helps with the wind if you peg this down, which I'm not gonna do right now, but we carry pegs inside the trailer so you can obviously take care of that part. So yep, you've got a little hidden shower compartment just on the left-hand side here. So you pull this out, there's your shower. You turn the water pump on and we keep 120 liters of water that are ready so you know we can do our washing up we can do our washing ourselves and we can have a nice little shower obviously at the end of a, a warm day as it is today so something that we're also trying to do again is best practices and consideration when people are here on camp so we have a couple of rules that we try and get people to to follow um, and obviously we're here on site as well um, with them constantly so we stay just over here um, at a main tent. So if anybody needs anything, they just give us a holler. They walk up to the tent, we've got extra supplies. And we also come around in the evening and make sure that they're okay in terms of lighting their fires, cooking their food. Um, we also go on a really cool scorpion walk. Uh, so we have a UV light and we go around and actually scorpions have a special pigment in their skin. So they glow illuminous yellow when you go and shine the light on them, which is really cool and a great novelty for the kids well, and adults alike actually. So this is a highlight for, for many people that come here with us at San Sherpa. What we've tried to do here at Sherpa Camp is really take the best lessons that we've had over 35 years of camping here in the UAE. And something that I discovered on a trip to Oman a few years ago was one of these little beauties. Uh, this is called a lotus grill. 
And the great thing about this is it's barbecue ready basically in 10 minutes or even less. So it's already preloaded for our customers with charcoal just inside. You can see here. And we, we light, up, light it up underneath with some fluid. We crank up. This. It's right the way around. If you crank up this little knob here onto full, we light up the fire. And then once it's lit, you can adjust the temperature of your barbecue by adjusting the knob, which is really cool. And the good thing is, when there's the little ones around, if they were to touch the sides of it, it stays cool to the touch, so it's not very dangerous. You can cook it right here on the table, and it's a really handy way of, uh, of cooking when you're out in the, uh, in the desert. Um, we also keep a few other things for our guests inside these ammo boxes, just to keep our military theme kind of going on. So inside here, we've got a gas stove, we've got a frying pan, we've got oil, uh, we've got sanitizer, we've got matches, all the stuff that basically you would need uh, when you're on a camp. So you've got the little luxuries. If you want to make a quick cup of tea, you just get the kettle, crank up the stove, and in 10 minutes, you can go and give everybody some tea or coffee, which is nice. Cool. So we'll just have a little wander around the site. Everybody has their own space. So as we look around here, actually tonight, we've got eight different families that are here with us, but you don't see or really hear anybody from this spot. Uh, we've got some people over the dunes here, we've got some people down by the trees. And we're lucky because we're in an ancient gaff tree forest. This is one of the oldest gaff tree forests that here in the reserve. All these trees have been here for hundreds of years old, or their ancestors have, which is really nice. We get nice shade, we've got undulating dunes, we've got nice bits of shadow that we get here during the day. So to me, this is one of the most beautiful camping spots that I've experienced in the whole region, and I've traveled all around it, and we're lucky enough to operate Sherpa Camp basically from this, uh, this part of the desert. We've even made some, this is all specially made to order from uh, San Sherpa. We've made these couches, which have got these little trays built in. So we've got some comforts here. We put the, put the, um, the carpets down so people can kick off their shoes in the evening without worrying too much about the creepy crawlies. And then we've got these custom made fire pits. Um, the fire pits were actually inspired by Pete, uh, my partner's father who did this back in South Africa, and actually washing machine drums. So again, part of our environmental initiative is to basically recycle those drums and then use these for fires. So we, we close all the holes in the bottom. You know, these things can just lift up and out and we can empty the ash, and put them in bags and take them off site. And then we've also got the grills here, which we can just take off and uh, obviously, you know, cook or have your fire as you like. And again, these are things that we've started to now make for our customers because they're pretty keen on, on having these at home. Well, thank you very much, Rudy. Or uh, having these, um, obviously, when they go camping as well. So what we're trying to do, again, is to show them the best practices, make sure that they come here. If this is their first time camping, they learn something, and hopefully they take that away with them next time when they're, when they're camping. Um, this is actually reclaimed um, from forests and from some of the, the wilderness areas in Sharjah. What we're trying to do is, again, use wood that's, uh, that's basically reclaimed from, from the land. Um, and it's and it's it's wasted otherwise, so it's it's pretty cool that we're doing that. Um, yeah, so just looking around the site, as I said, it's an ancient gaff tree forest. We try and keep our cars as they're coming into the tracks, so we don't end up with tracks all around the campsite. It's one of the things that I hate when you go camping with friends, is everyone starts driving around looking for the best camping spot, and all you end up with a churned up bit of porridge that you're sitting in. Here you've actually got some some beautiful undulating dunes, and if you just look at the ridges in the sand. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, people say that the desert doesn't have a lot to offer and they just don't know what they're talking about. They need to come out here and really discover it because it's something very special. Um, to me, having grown up here in Dubai, this is the best that this region has to offer. Yeah, don't get me wrong, I like the big buildings, I like the malls, but when you come out here and it's peaceful, there's, there's wildlife, the kids are playing in the sand, they're not watching the iPads, you know, it's, it's a fantastic place to be. So we'll just take a little walk up here. So we can see the full vista of San Sherpa. As we can see, we've got another family just over here. That is behind a dune though, so you can hardly hear that they're there when you're actually sitting in your own spot. But hopefully once COVID gets, gets past us, we can start to have a more social area as well. Our aim originally was to have a central campfire and a big grill. Um, obviously that's not been possible so far with uh, the world as it is, but we're looking forward to the time that that changes. Uh, we have had a few private groups, so we've had a corporate banking client that came here and did private events. We've had families that come here and book out the site. So obviously then we can be a little bit more flexible, uh, but we are looking forward to that time when people can really get together again and, uh, and talk about what they're enjoying when they're here on camp. 
We also have some simple little luxuries. And just over the ridge here, we've got a bathroom with a toilet facilities and also showers. So that's pretty good. So the little luxuries are important, particularly for first time campers. And we find that that's you know, a good comfort for people. They, you know, they want to get caught out um, when, they're, when they're camping in the desert. And that basically gives them that, uh, that safety, security and a bit of comfort. In fact, tomorrow night we've got a private setup. Um, these trailers just down here over the ridge are unoccupied at the moment. But this is the type of thing that we can do when we get corporate events and private groups that are coming in here. We can have up to 12 trailers, depending obviously on what the restrictions are at any one time. And then people can stay there in a nice semicircle or a circle. Then we get the couches set up, some fire pits. We've got a big grill that's down here as well that was custom made from a partner company that we work with called uh, Signature Grills. So it's awesome that we've got that here as well. Um, it's Argentinian inspired cooking, so that's, that's pretty neat. And again, we use our wood to do that cooking, so it gives a nice flavor to the meat. And again, it's a flavor of San Sherpa. Just over the ridge there, we've got a couple that are, that are celebrating an occasion and they're behind two dunes. So again, you know, we've, we've got some, some nice private spots if people want them with more social spots if, uh, if they want that as well. Uh, we've got what we call a honeymoon spot as well, which is just on the top of the ridge which gives you a good vista of the sunset uh, when, that's, uh, when that's taking place. It's coming up to sunset now. It's a great place just to go and grab a beverage, go to the top of the dunes and uh, sit and enjoy that. We've got nice lightweight chairs that people can just grab and take and then bring back to the camp if they'd like. Cool, so what we've done is our original trailers, we were inspired to try and make some uh, additions uh, locally. So I bought 12 of these trailers originally. Six of them were equipped with the South African uh, gear and then the other six I decided to kit out here locally. We use a co local company in, uh, in Russell Kamer which is great so at least we're contributing to the local economy and we found some unique solutions which make them even better than the generation one uh, trailers. So just next door to a company that I work with in, uh, in Dubai there is um, some an insulation company so the insulation material for these trailers are actually been put into the, the canopies which makes them cooler during the day, uh, warmer at night uh, and we've created a sleeping compartment for kids actually in the base unit. So depending on what families are, what the age of their kids are, they can stay in the, in the penthouse suite with their parents, or if they'd like, they can go and stay in the actual base of the trailers. Uh, we create a little bit of aeration on the, on the sides with the canopies, got very comfortable mattresses. It's got lighting inside. So the kids kind of enjoy that to have their own space. And the parents are also reassured because the kids like them are actually off the ground away from any creepy crawlies, also within shouting distance in case they need their parents.